Wagwan traders, yeah, the traders here again. All right, guys, so the reverse split was announced earlier this morning. So it's a one to nine. So one share for every nine shares that you may have. Or if you want to do the calculation, it's basically, you know, <coughs> nine times the price is at now, it's going to go up by nine times. So there are a couple of things you we a couple of ways you can look at this guys. So one, any reverse split is pretty bad for any company. But on the other hand, you know, I'm thinking that this could be worse. So what this reverse split actually does is actually bring the price up to a dollar. So if you multiply point one one two by let me go to my calculator here my handy calculator so if you multiply 0 0.112 by 9 <laughs> so what this is saying is that it's gonna get the stock up up to a dollar or a little bit above a dollar at this level that it's at now so I'm gonna kinda spin this in a positive light alright I know a lot of people might not say this but guess what guys it could be worse what if we you know uh, the company decided to do one in every well they had an option to do one for every two or one for every up to one for every 100 they decided to go one for every nine which brings it in line with that dollar they could have gone you know one for every you know 90 for example that will certainly ensure that they are they will be way above the required limit for the nasdaq so guess what guys i'm gonna um look at this as a positive thing because what the company is basically saying is that okay we need to get the reverse split done we have to we have, we have the option to go higher but we are actually just gonna get it up to a dollar and we are going to maintain dollar that dollar between now and september 6. okay or not only maintain but actually try to push the price higher by then so if you look at the um the article that came out here so let me just jump right into it oh before i do as you can see the stock stock is basically flat market cap um, we are at 72 million so basically flat so this is during the market hours this is after market hours and this is um 4 24 in the evening so this is what came out in terms of the announcement so if i jump into the details here it is basically saying the company to begin repurchase stock up to 25 million through stock buyback program so that's kind of a positive thing you know 25 million but um, let's see what else is happening here so the, uh, Mullen an emerging electronic vehicle manufacturer today announced 149 reverse splits the company intends to begin repurchase up to um, 25 million in shares through a stock buyback program after the filing of its Q10 and upon expiration of its blackout period. All right, so here's what David is saying. You know, we believe the company is in is highly undervalued and the stock buyback program represents a compelling use of our capital reflecting confidence in our business all right that's what he said so this is a NAS nasdaq um, listing rule if a company fails to meet the minimum bid price requirement compliance is generally achieved by meeting the requirement for a minimum of 10 consecutive business days however staff may in its discretion require a company to maintain a bid price of at at least ten one dollar per share for the period in excess of 10 consecutive business days but generally no more than 
20 consecutive business days. Before determining that the company has demonstrated an ability to maintain a long-term compliance, in determining whether to require a company to meet the minimum $1 bid price standard beyond 10 business days, staff will consider the following four factors. One, margin of compliance. That is the amount by which the, the bid price is above the $1 minimum standard. Two, trading volume. A lack of trading volume may indicate a lack of bona fide market interest in the security at the posted bid price. Three, market maker montage. This is the number of market makers quoting at or above the $1 and the size of their quotes. And um, four, the trend of the stock price, is it up or down? All right, so this is basically what they're saying that, hey, you just need to get the stock up to that $1. Um, and I would say, you know, for 10 consecutive days and to be more compliant or to pr prove compliance, you know, um, be above that, um, that $1 for at least another 10 consecutive days. So what are your thoughts on the stock itself? Let me just jump in here. You can hit me up on the comments on that. So as you can see, we are now down to 11.23. Um, in terms of the volume that came in, forgot to look at the volume. The volume that came in was 309 million. And as I said, market capital is 70, 72 million. In terms of the open interest, as you can see for the options here, we got call in, calls that came in at 17,000. Open interest for, um, for this week, Friday, is 28,000. Next week, 33,000. 15,000 so open interest is pretty you know good so far and in terms of the calls that were bought this morning this was 6 46 a.m. 418 um, shares calls were bought while the, the, the lowest that was um, the highest puts was 31 puts were, were sold uh, just to clarify the highest call was 418 so overall um, I would say you know if we get the momentum from the uh, that little expo or where you're gonna have you know persons come in to visit the plant by the 24th of August I would see you know I would hope to see a general run-up in the price of the stock itself because so far what David is saying is that yes We'll get, we'll get the stock. We have confidence in the stock. It's undervalued and it should be moving at any time soon. All right, guys. So this is kind of what I have for you for today. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.